welcome to another video by Graph Gold. and today I will be loading up a game perhaps my favorite my most favorite game for the Commodore 64 I spent a lot of hours playing this game and the name of my channel was actually made from the the team that actually wrote this game this game of course is Iridium by Andrew Braybrook I'm sorry Andrew Braybrook um, and it was famous for its silky smooth uh, horizontal scrolling graphics uh, base relief and it had a killer um, opening theme too. This game I as I said I spent many hours playing this particular game um, I never did finish it I think the highest I ever got was um, perhaps level 9 or level 10 um, of course you know the later, the later levels you've played less so it's hard to memorize the map layouts but the first uh, you know three or four levels are you know um, you got them, you pretty much got them down you know where where they are now that was back then I haven't played this game that much uh, probably a handful of times over the last uh, 25 years or so but in the mid 80s I used to play this all the time um, Let's go ahead and load it up. Um, this is actually a remake of a video that I made uh, about a month ago, um, but this one is better quality, and all plus it also has this commentary. So we are loading this game from tape. Takes about three minutes, and uh, you should take this opportunity if you haven't already done so to uh, to like the video, subscribe, share, like, and subscribe, as they say. So that way, other Commodore 64 enthusiasts will have an easier time of finding my videos. I'll appreciate that. If you want to support the channel um, in other ways and influence the content that, that I make, um, please visit our Patreon site. The URL has just shown up there at the bottom of the of the uh, of this video. So this was uh, Andrew Braybrook's second game. Uh, actually, no, this was his third game. I think his first game out was Scribbly's Day Out, then there was Paradroid, and then came Iridium. Now, I know there was another version, Iridium Plus, I think it was, or Iridium 2. I can't remember what it was, but... Uh, it took a lot of fun out of the game, I thought, because you were able to land whatever you wanted to. Um, with this game, of course, you you have to survive until the runway opens up. Uh, this is a much better version of the game. The original is is my preferred way of doing it. Um, but yeah, when this game came out, the graphics just blew everything else away. I think in Zap 64 it didn't get the gold medal because there was some other game that was out that particular month that did take the gold. I think Iridium took silver. It was a Zap Sizzler or whatever it is they, what they have, they however they used to categorise it back in the day. But I think this was this was a Sizzler. Some other game got the gold medal that particular month. Uh, but yeah, this came out in 1986, written uh, by Andrew Braybrook as you can see. Um, released through Houston Consultants. Now, I just do want to disclaim here that my reflexes are a lot slower than what they were 30 odd years ago. So don't expect me to get to level 9 or level 10 here. In fact, I might be lucky to get to level 3. But it's a fantastic game. This is definitely high up on my list, probably the best game that I played for this Commodore 64. And Andrew Braybrook, if you are out there right now, I want to personally thank you for this particular game. It's amazing.
So now we'll see a short demo. And uh, this is level 6. I remember this was the gold level. Level 6. fire on. Woo! <laughs> 
these levels. Items I'll get on the self destruct. So here, red game out if you never played it before. Uh, if you are in the US and you have to snag a copy of this game, uh, keep in mind I, I um, had a, um, a US version of the Commodore 64 and I used to load this game on it and the theme music and the overall game played a little bit quicker. Um, as you may have seen elsewhere my Commodore 64 that I'm doing these on are from my UK Commodore 64, which runs on the power system, and I think it's the clock speed is just slightly slower. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, if you can get the, the US version of the game, if there is one, that's the one you want to be playing. You don't want to be playing the UK version. Share, like, and subscribe, and uh, visit our Patreon page if you get a chance. Uh, always welcome your feedback, and uh, look forward to uh, speaking with you all. Uh,
we'll see you in the next video.